Alrighty guys, Madman Mondello coming at you live from the Garden Devil Garage here in beautiful Alabama. We're all enough to down the ground set up in the trees. Alright, now as I stated before, alright, we were going to do in the live stream that I had just a little while ago, we were going to do an SSD to mechanical drive comparison. Okay? Why you might ask, well, there's some people out there that blab their mouth that have no idea what the hell they're talking about. Alright, in which they don't. Okay. I've been messing with computers since 1982. I know about hard drives, okay? I know about a lot of things, all right? I just don't open my mouth about it. But when I see people blabbing that don't know their butt from a hole in the ground, they need to shut up, okay? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you guys the difference between a mechanical hard drive and, of course, an SSD drive, okay? Now, got that off there for me. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, okay. First off, okay, mechanical drive. All right, this one is 7200 RPM. All right, this one here is, uh, I'm not going to use these, but this one here, the 7200 RPM drive, okay. Uh, I think it's 128 kilobyte cache or something like that. Anyway, mechanical drive, okay, which means that there's a disc in there spinning and there's heads above the platter about one micron above, okay. And, you know, this thing has what's called an MTBF. If you don't know what that means, it means mean time before failure. It's stamped on every one of these mechanical drives for a reason. Okay, the reason is, is after so many hours, things start to fall apart. Just like everything else in this world, okay? So, a mechanical drive has a lot of moving parts to it. And, of course, you know, I mean, they made them good. And they do last. But... Okay, on the other end of that, there is a mean time before failure. Also, if they get bounced around or whatever, you can hurt them. And you wind up blowing track zero off of them. You have head crashes, lost sectors, errors, all kinds of crazy stuff, all right? Now, this happens to be a solid-state drive, okay? This you can throw around. It ain't going to hurt nothing, all right? I mean, you can beat it up. You ain't going to hurt it. It's flash memory. There is no moving parts. It is just simply flash memory okay speed wise now the xbox utilizes what say to one okay say to one nothing to write home to mama about okay however though it does beat ide but anyway still in yet you know thorough put and everything you're capped at, at a certain thorough put and that's it however though there's a little bit of a difference okay this has what's called seek time okay and read time Variable read times, variable sector reads, okay, so on and so forth, all right? This also has read times and sector seeks and all kinds of good stuff, except this has no moving parts, which means your track-to-track -track seek time, your read, your read seek time, your, um, your readability across a vast number of sectors is way quicker, all right? Regardless of how much this thing can process, all right, this is still going to increase the speed. Okay, now, I know it's say to one, it can only go so fast, but your seek time, your average track to track seek time is going to be explosive, all right? The other good thing about this thing, it doesn't degrade. Well, I can't say that, no, they do degrade over a period of time. Let me, let, let, let me, let, let me correct myself on that. They do degrade, but not like these, okay? This thing will be around a lot longer than that thing will be, all right? I'm not knocking hard drives okay i'm not because they last a long time and you know i've always used mechanical drives too all right however though when people blab their mouth and they don't know what they're talking about i'm going to correct them in one way or another all right so anyway what we have now okay is we have our mechanical and we have our ssd all right now a customer of mine sent me an ssd drive because he wanted uh you know he wanted to go ahead and he wanted a he wanted to convert over to an SSD. And I was like going, at that time I was like going like, well, you really want to do it? Yeah, I'm buying a drive, don't worry, just, just take care of it, Tom. Well, he tried to copy it over and just turn it into a nightmare for him. And I was just like, send it to me, I'll take care of it. And which I did. All right. Sean Dutton. Okay. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> I know, I know it made him crazy. But anyway, these are Sean's drives right here. This one here is a mechanical drive. This one is a 7200 RPM drive, okay? This here 
happens to be an SSD drive. These are both two terabytes, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you exactly the difference between the mechanical and the SSD, all right? Because I really want you to see the difference for yourself. I'm gonna let the hard drive speak for itself. I'm gonna let this thing speak for itself and let the video speak for itself because you can't change a video. This is it right here. There's no cutting, there's no sleight of hand, there's no nothing, all right? You all know the way I am. I'm a straight up shooter and that's it. It's black and white with me. There's no shades of gray, okay? It's either right or wrong, yes or no, and that's the end of it, period. All right, so we have a mechanical drive. I'm gonna shove it in this thing, just like that. All right, SSD is out here. Now I'm gonna fire it up. Now mind you, this is RGH3, uh, so of course it's gonna instant boot. Okay, it isn't like the days of old where you really had to know what the hell you were doing to get it to boot, you know, quick within, within one to three cycles. Now, things are gonna load up. When this green stuff stops moving, okay, that means it's loading Aurora. That means that it did lock the server. Life is grand. So we gotta give it a second. There it goes, it locked the server. Pay attention down here, okay? Because now it's loading Aurora right now, okay? Now, as you can see, your titles, you see how it's going right here, okay? Okay, I loaded the titles, all right? Now, like I said, this is a 7200 RPM drive, okay? So now what we'll do is we'll go over to Xbox 360. We'll hit that. Now, we have to wait. Why do we have to wait? Because it's loading all of these titles. <laughs> Trying to keep up. There it goes. It finally changed, okay? So there's Xbox 360. Now, as you see, it took some time, okay? But anyway, they're all there. They're all cached. Everything is cool, all right? Like I said, I'm not m knocking mechanical drives, okay? But I am telling you, you're going to see a big difference, all right? A very big, big, big difference, just like I did, and I was shocked myself. Okay, so anyway, as you can see, you got two terabytes of fun right here, all right? Now, okay, finally to the end. Now, we'll go ahead, Xbox Live Arcade. Notice how it takes a little time to get out there, all right? Your homebrew section takes a little time to get out there. Indie games takes a little time to get out there. And mind you, this is a brand new drive. This is not a used drive, by the way, okay, just to let you know. Again, classic games, so that come up. Emulators take some time to get out there, as you can see, so on and so forth. Okay, we'll go back to Xbox 360. All right, now, what I'm going to do here, all right, is I'm going to do this, okay? First thing I'm going to do, whoop, and I'm going to sign in a profile right here, okay? All right. Now, we're signed in, okay? Now, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead. We're going to go to Xbox 360 titles, okay? Now, as you can see, and once the cache is loaded, it's quick, okay? But that first initial, it just takes forever sometimes, all right? Now, we'll go ahead, and we're going to load a game, okay? I want you to pay attention to the load time on this thing. All right, here we are. All right, I'm going to load Grand Theft Auto 4, okay? So I'm going to hit it. All right, now, just pay attention how long it takes, okay, for it to load up. All right, hit the screen. Okay, we're good. Everything's cool. All right, and there we are. It's running. Okay, now it's playing. And then we should come to our screen. Ooh, that's nice. Gotta love that. <laughs> what I wouldn't be, what I wouldn't give to be a freaking lollipop right now. Okay, now, should load in, starting a new game, okay? It's taking, you know, Cousins Bellic, and then, of course, it's going to take a little bit for it to bring the video up, which it will. All right, and like I said, this is a brand new 7200 RPM mechanical drive, okay? So, finally, we're good, okay? And now it's loading again, all right, and there we are. All right, we finally made it out of there, okay? Now, all right. Just to show you, here we go. Xbox Home, yes, we'll bring that back, all right? Now, pay attention to the load time again, all right? Just to show you. Reading titles from the database. Okay, we're loading up, here we go. All right, and we're all good. And now, 
we're loaded once again okay so now we're all good we're loaded once again the cache has been cleared so now again it's going to take some time to get to the xbox 360 titles because i just selected them and we're counting and they're finally changed okay so there's a mechanical drive performance wise all right just doing some normal stuff that you would do on an xbox all right now we're going to shut this down okay now i'm going to show you right here okay now i'm going to pull this out okay and i'm going to put the ssd in okay now we're going to go ahead and now we're going to power it up okay now again rgh3 boot time is the same of course it's going to boot pay attention to the load screen down here now all right give it a second to lock the server I'm gonna lock the server come on you can do it oh I forgot how to set the KB sorry about that okay I was just gonna reboot and uh, you know it's gonna start again and if the KB isn't on the hard drive of course it's gonna it's gonna it has to set the KB sorry about that okay so I rebooted now it's gonna lock the server And once that green stuff stops moving, that's when it's going to come up. There it goes. It locked. Good. Now, pay attention down here. Done. Before I can even hit the menu. Done. Okay. Now, here we go. Watch this. Boom. All right. Did you notice that? Didn't take... <laughs> if you don't see the speed difference in this um, you're blind and you don't need to be playing with an Xbox because obviously you can't see and you will never be able to hit anything in a shooting game okay needless to say super fast super quick <laughs> so as far as the idiots out there saying oh I don't want to put an SSD in driving here it's not going to make a difference, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah. You, <laughs> do, need I say more? I don't think I need to. Okay. As this thing just did everything, as you can see, very quickly. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sign in. Okay. Good. All right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on over to the same game. Whoops. Sorry about that. i to go back. Whoops. Xbox 360, okay, and that's because I signed in, by the way, all right, now, we'll go over, we'll load this same title, okay, here you go, wham, done, you notice the screen is going to be just a little quicker, as you can see, all right, now, of course, the speed is going to stay the same, but for the frame rate and everything, because that's all due to the programming, but as you can see, it loaded, there it is. Now, we're going to go ahead. It's going to load into a session. We're going to see how fast this goes. So we're getting through there. Yep, and there she is once again. What I wouldn't give to be a freaking lollipop. Uh, how many licks does it take to get to a lollipop? Not many because this thing already just fired off. And uh, pretty much, there you go. And we're going to be, we're about to be in a session. Okay. Let's see how this goes. And there it is. Okay, done. Loaded. Complete. Loading. Done. Okay. Bring this back. Notice how the guide pops up a lot quicker too and everything. There you go. Yes. Let's see how long it takes to load now back to Aurora. Alright. Reading titles from database. Done. Okay. Now. You saw... The mechanical drive and now you saw the ssd drive i don't have to say anything else okay there it is in a nutshell so to ssd or not to ssd that question depends upon you and also depends upon your wallet because yes this is all great and wonderful and it's fast and everything else and you don't have to worry about you know banging the drive around or anything like that but however though on the on the other end of it you know 
It's about 50 bucks more. All right. Now, is this speed worth the 50 bucks to you? Well, that depends upon you. I'm not going to tell you what to do with your money. I never will. All right. But I will tell you this, though, right now. If you're an enthusiast, if you like running these type of games, if you like running a modded console, you like all the emulation off of it, and you love what it can do because it's very versatile, and it's still versatile to this day, okay? I, I, I mean, uh, a, a platform that has been around since 2005 and is still being utilized today, that's amazing in itself, all right? So, you know, if you're into this stuff and you like it, and you really, you really want to get a max performance out, out of it, yeah, an SSD is the way to go. All right, because number one, you don't have to worry about too much data loss. Number two, track to track seek time is way quicker. Number three, you saw how fast it is. I don't have to say anything else. There it is in black and white. So all the idiots that say, oh, I don't want to put that in there, I can work on blah, blah, blah. Shut up, okay? Go run along and go play with your tiddly winks or Lincoln logs or whatever, because obviously you don't know what the hell you're talking about on this damn thing. End of story. Y'all have a good one. Have a great night. I'm going to holler at you later. Take it easy, guys.